Hello everyone, my name is Chelsea and I am a Children's Services Assistant at Clearview Library District. Welcome back. This is another week of getting crafty. I hope that your summers are going well. I really miss you guys, but uh, here we are. We're going to get our craft on today. So, simple things that you can find around the house for making. Today we are going to make paper plate frisbees. So, you need two paper plates, any size. Um, I already started one here, but you need two of them. We will get to the instructions in just a, just a second. Some markers, colorful ones, whichever you want to use. Um, Sharpies, regular markers is fine. A pair of, scissor, pair of scissors and some clear packing tape. So hopefully you have these two things and let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our paper plate and set it like you're going to eat on it. Okay, and you're going to start cutting some strips of tape to put on the plate. So we're going to cover it in tape on just the one side for now. So I pretty much um, just start in the middle and kind of work your way out. So you'll put it on there so that the tape overlaps it just a little bit because you're going to want to cut that off. Okay, put it as straight as you can, but it, you don't have to be perfect. Set it right across the plate and then pull it out the other side. Hang on to the end of your tape so you don't lose it. Trim that side. Okay, and then you'll want to go on the other side. Kind of line it up as best you can. But again, if it overlaps or if it doesn't touch, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to coat the bottom of it with the tape. So pull it out the other side a little bit and cut it off again. And then one more to cover the last piece here that we've got left on the plate. And I'll lift this up and show you kind of what it looks like on the one side here. So you've got one side that's covered. See how it's shiny? You've got the tape on the one side. So go ahead and cover the rest of it. Go on the other side of that middle strip that you first placed. And again, just try to get it on there as straight as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Cut it off. And then one more should probably cover this side. Place it on there, pull it out, cut it off, and then just so you don't lose the tape end, I put a little crinkle in it. All right, so there you go. It's all covered, so you just want to place it, take your fingers, stretch it out on the plate, make sure that the tape is covering it really well. Now the edges that are sticking out here, we're going to cut those off, okay? So don't fold them over or anything like that. So we'll just want to... Make sure the tape's on there really good, stuck it down, and then go ahead and take your scissors and trim just right around the, the uh, plate, okay? So if you cut the plate a little bit, that's okay, but just trying to get that excess tape off of there. Okay, so kind of just take that off, set it aside. We can toss that in the trash when we're done. Kind of as you're going, use your fingers to make sure that the tape is good and adhered onto the plate. Okay, perfect. So once we're done trimming that, just kind of put that aside. We'll need the scissors again in a minute. But now you've got that tape covered on the whole entire plate. Okay, so then you're gonna flip it over and on this side, we're gonna color. So take your favorite markers, make whatever you want, color it however you want. Um, I'm gonna match it to the other side that I already completed. So I've got some flowers on there, some vines. So I might put some, some more flowers and so just go ahead, take your markers, take your time, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have and just color an awesome design on there. Feel free to pause the video if you need to, if you, you're taking more time, that's totally fine. I hope that you're enjoying your summer and we can get out there and throw some frisbees around in this beautiful weather. So just take your time, create it however you wanna do it. It's, you know, summer adventures going on right now and 
the theme is imagine your story. So you just use your imagination. You do it however you want to do it. It is all up to you. If you have not registered for SAP yet, I highly recommend that you do. We've got some great prizes, some awesome challenges going on. Definitely help, get an adult to help you get registered. Still time. So I'm just making some pretty flowers. Using all of my favorite colors. Teal, blue, purple. And I'm going to put some cool twirlies in there. Create a cool design in between my flowers. Okay, so got flowers and vines on this side. Flowers and vines on this side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is obviously you can see that there's a hole in this one. So I did this one first so that I could kind of help myself decide where to draw the hole for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them on top of each other and use one of your markers or whatever to go ahead and draw that circle so that they're in a similar place. Okay, just like that. So now I've got a circle that I can cut out. Take your scissors, be very careful. Ask an adult if you need help. Just poke your scissors right through. The tape shouldn't make it too hard. Keep going, put it right between your fingers. Well, maybe. Okay, so. Just gonna cut a hole, there we go. Okay, so once you're through, Go ahead and cut out that circle. Make it similar to the other one so that you have a similar looking hole in the in both sides of the frisbee so that you can get a little bit of a grip on it and when you throw it. Okay, so once you get this cut out you're going to want to do is just kind of clean up the, the middle of it, make it look a little bit better. Put those on top. Perfect. So we can see right through it. So we've got a great hole for both of them. So then when you, when, what you want to do is what you once you've got that cut out, you're going to take your tape again. You're going to set your plate upside down again. So you've got your design that you just drew show, showing through, looking at you. And you're going to cover it just like the other side. So start in the middle. It can go off on each side, that's totally fine. We're gonna trim it. So then just like the other side, on each side, make sure we get it covered with tape. It's just gonna help it fly through the air a little bit better and it's going to um, keep it dry so that if you're outside and the grass happens to be wet or something like that, then you won't ruin your frisbee first thing because we are getting a lot of thunderstorms these days so I want to make sure that we keep this nice and dry and then uh, also it's good for weight so it'll make it go further because paper is really light. So keep that going. We've got a few strips to go here. Just make sure we get it fully covered. This one more should do it for this guy. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is let me put one more on this side just to, just so we have full coverage. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do is before we trim this off, what we have to do is just kind of use your fingers, make sure it's on there good. Okay, then you're gonna pick it up off of the table, and it might be glued on there, so just be careful. Okay. So what you're going to do is once you have both sides done, you're going to take the last side that you're doing, you're going to take the other one, okay, flip it like this, and it's going to look like a saucer. So you're going to put it on top of the other very carefully, even if you have to set this one down and then put this one on top, that's totally fine. Make sure your, your holes kind of line up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this excess tape that's hanging over and you're just going to 
fold it over. Okay, fold it over, fold it over. Before we forget, let's not forget here, poke a hole through our tape so we can cut that out. Okay, so fold it over, kind of try to keep it as straight as possible so that they line up really good. Okay, fold it over. Perfect. All right. So, kind of punch it out. Make sure it's looking good here. All right. So there you go. You've got a frisbee. Okay. So, just like that. Uh, you can cut out this other side here and take the tape out of here. If you want to just cut it and then you can fold it under. That's, that's fine too. Cut it, hold it under. So then you've got a grip. You've got a frisbee. So feel free to take it outside, toss it around. It should last you a while. Design it however you want. You guys, if you're loving these videos and you're really liking to stay inside and create some things, visit our website, clearviewlibrary.org. Go to our Explore and then Databases, and there's one in there called Creative Bug, and it's so awesome. They have so many tutorials and so many fun crafts and things to do around your house. Um, please join Summer Adventure Program if you haven't yet. Get registered. We've got some fun challenges for all ages, and we hope to see you next week again for getting crafty. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a great day.